my dear students welcome to my today's class today i am going to take this class for the students of honors fourth year this is my first class for them you can recall that i was discussing on the course modern drama and today i like to talk about george bernard shaw you can never tell before entering into the discussion of the drama i like to give a short introduction about the dramatist george bernard shaw who is credited to be the greatest dramatist after william shakespeare he is considered so for his keen insight of human nature his realistic approach towards life and the human relationship is tested by the time and thus has duly got his recognition my dear students regarding george bernard shaw i would mention that he was an irish playwright irish dramatist He was born in 1856 and died in 1950. So you can realize in his vast life of 94 years, most of the time he devoted himself to literary works. though initially he began as a clerk didn't continue it for long he felt that his better option would be to be engaged in literary works at first he started criticism of others works and later on once again he read he realized that his main intention would be fulfilled if he himself would write of his own in different genres of literature He has written so many dramas, novels in his lifetime. Among them, some are quite known to you. You have gone through Arms and the Man, Man and Superman, and in fourth year, in rate. you can never tell in personal life george bernard shaw was a socialist a communist 
being a socialist he always fought for the mass people for the interest of the mass people for the working class class people he fought against the bourgeois he fought against the existing social system of capitalism which was gradually turning towards imperialism who tried to exploit mass people especially the workers the peasants and only a few made the total profit of the works of all the bourgeois class and to support this social system there was a school of thought in literature to justify the activities of capitalism and in this guise some romantic notions prevailed in the society romantic notions related to human relationship person to person relationship regarding the class struggle regarding love marriage and most noted notably war he never supported this common thoughts about love marriage or war as the romantics felt for that reason the hero of the common people were anti heroes in shows drums on novels the heroines were actually anti heroines in shows dramas and the real hero and heroine were more realistic true to life true to reality and this thing he tried to establish throughout his life and always fought against war venturing activities of the bourgeois he was always in favor of peace and advocated so socialism to be to guide the whole society to lead the whole society to rule the whole society he had to face many criticism from the so called romantic writers of that time but he faced them very boldly and thus he was test tested by time being tested by time he achieved very important recognition in literature he achieved nobel prize in 
which he didn't accept initially. But being pressurized by his wife, he had to accept it, but not the money. So such a personality that he valued this very little and exceptionally he achieved another honor and it's a rare one. A Nobel laureate is being honored with Oscar Award. All these proved his skill in, in the presentation of human nature through literature for ages beyond today. There is no doubt in the whole world that George Bernard Shaw is an icon in English literature. So, dear students, I have given a very short description about George Bernard Shaw. I think you will also study on him, on his life, on his activities. And you have to do it to understand from depth, to understand his writings from depth more precisely, more elaborately. If you do so, you will feel how interesting his writings are. Let's conclude my lecture on George Barnard show here. In my next class, I will obviously go into, you can never tell, the very drama we have to study this year. I will expect you all to attend my next class with the same passion, with same attention, with same interest. Till then, let us stop academic lecture here. I know As the whole world is scared about COVID-19 and coronavirus related pan pandemic, you are also scared. But I would suggest you, don't be scared, don't lose heart, stay safe stay home, follow the rules of Isaac and tell others of your family members, tell others of your acquaintance, your relatives to maintain the rules of Try to develop your immune system to combat coronavirus. It's quite possible. You have seen. It's not that much.
that must be destructive as we feel it to be being scared about it through proper maintenance we can easily avoid any sort of anomaly one more thing i would like to add here it would be a bit motivational discussion just students you know and admission process is going on for the students of first year intermediate first year hsc first year it will go on online in this situation you can play a vital role to advertise for this beloved college of mine ours and yours many of you have studied in hsc level in this college and you have already passed so many years here you know how cordial with the teachers are the madam sir how friendly how communicative how caring and we never hesitate to do our best for the benefit of you in this way we all have tried our level best to make you a competent citizen of the country a successful man a good human being this is the achievement of this college and in this way this college has earned the reputation of being the best college in old dhaka you know it you spread it you work as a vanguard of the college you work as an ambassador of the college to take the message of the college to your younger sisters to your relatives to the people of your acquaintance and tell them to send their girls daughters to this college to be benefited from the overall activity academic co curriculum and all of us many things you have seen have been initiated nowadays which are quite necessary to be a successful person in the society share the message to all and pay the debt to this institution this way i hope you have enjoyed my lecture if so ask me whatever question you have pass your comment share with me if you have anything to share thank you very much good bye for today